So in the last video I did about Figma Boss, I showed you how you can create brand assets for your company on Figma or for your team and how to create bulk uploads of that. I got so many comments about people saying they had issues uploading images to the Excel to upload on Figma Boss and I was wondering why but in this video I'm just going to show you how I do it so you probably do it the same and hopefully it works. Now backstory, I did do some research and it seems like Figma had a little bug with it but they have fixed it so i'm just going to walk you through that entire process and if you're feeling this new setup put some w's in the chat say what's up like and subscribe and let's just dive right into the video right now so first thing you want to do right is first to open up your figma like i have over here so you have figma there and then you can start creating the assets you want to use in this case this is a sure asset if you don't have any asset in mind you want to use you can also get some assets from just the asset panel, click new asset. Figma has done some amazing ones where you can pick from. The example we are using, I literally picked it from here. So you can also do that. Click on that asset and get it here. Now you want to customize this how you deem fit. And um, that is just one of the first things you need to do. Now, this is the Excel part. You can either use Google Sheets to do your Excel, which is what I'm using because it's online. Just open it on your browser. Like you see here, I've created a test doc and I've just put some names here and I've put some images of the shoes. So now I'm going to delete these images just by clicking on it and pressing delete. And we are going to now add these images. So I'll show you how I do it and how you can do yours. So once I click on the cell I want to use for the images, I click on it and I click on insert. See over here, you're going to see image and I will click on insert image in cell. Once you click on this, the Google will bring up this whole uh, model where you can upload that image to. Just so you know, you can do it multiple times. So you can do, you need to do it one by one. But I think if you have a lot, you can just get it from your drive. Once you click on browse, then I've already created some of the images I want to use here. You can see Figma boards. And I'm just going to select the first one. It uploads. Boom, just like that super easy barely an inconvenience guys so go to the next one file sorry go to insert image search image in cell select your second image boom i'll just speed through the rest third one in this example i'm just using five so we don't you know sleep here all day insert image in cell boom third one done go to the fourth one image image in cell browse first one done and now for the final one you just repeat the entire same process you use image image in cell browse boom you're done now you now that you have your five images done um since this image that was a major issue that's what we'll be focusing on now you have the five images done what you want to do is try and export this your excel sheet right uh, you can do that by clicking file, download, and for images in Figma, you need to download them as a .xlsx file and not the .csv file. If it's just text, you can use the .csv file, but Figma has specifically said you need to upload it using the .xlsx file. So you need to take note of that. So that's what I'll do. I'll click on that to, and you can see it's been downloaded here already in my browser has been downloaded here. So now that I have that downloaded, I'm just gonna get rid of the Excel sheet. Now that I have that downloaded, let me get rid of the Excel sheet. And I'm back on Figma here. So now I'm going to use this example. I already have it here. I'm now going to come over here to my bulk create. Once I click on this bulk create, this is where most of the magic used to happen. And um, like I said, if you don't know how to create some of these assets, my previous video where I talked about it, you can watch that. I've already done a video on how to create all of these assets. So just watch that if you want to do it, where I explained all of this in total. So you kind of have an idea of what you're working with really simple. So now once you click on this bulk create, you're going to see the upload spreadsheet. And like I said earlier, remember I said you can upload X lsx or csv files to bulk create but for images you need to use the xlsx file so i'm thinking this might be maybe some of the issues 
a lot of you might have, you know, encountered while you were trying to create this. You need to keep that in mind when you're creating some of these videos. So make sure you put that in mind. And if this video is giving you value so far, don't forget, guys, like and subscribe. Let's get this channel to 5,000 subscribers. Let's go, guys. <laughs> so now I'm going to click on upload. Um, once I click on upload, I'm going to look for the file that I already saved earlier. Um, in this case, it was the test 1.1, the second version. And once I click on it, upload, bada boom. Now you have the three different segments. Now, if you remember clearly the way I structured the Excel file, I had three columns whereby I had, um, you can, this can be a first name or last name or whatever it is. And then I have the image. So three different um, columns I was using to customize it. Now you can see those three columns here. And what you need to do is you need to select any of the elements you have here and map it back to one of those fields. So you need to select, in this case, I'm going to select the shoe first. And you can see because it's an image, Figma automatically knows this is an image you're working on. So it's going to already highlight the image. If I click on the text, it's going to highlight the both text fields because Figma is now that smart. It kind of has an idea of what you're doing. Now click on the image. Once I click on the image, I'll come here and select that entire column. Now, because I uploaded four images, you can see over here at the bottom, it says create four assets. If you want to create more, you just populate more images there. It's going to create more assets for you down to dozens. You can just go. I haven't tried to max it out. I've never had any need to max it out, but you can go ahead and do that to max it out. Now that's there. For the sake of this example, I don't need to change the text because uh, it's the image that we are majorly concerned about. And once I click on this create assets, everything should work according to plan. So now I'll just click on create four assets and bada boom, bada bim, guys, look at it. So now it has replaced the initial shoe we added here and it has created the four other assets with the images we uploaded just with one click. So that is just one of the best ways to do the bulk upload. If you're still having issues, make sure you're using the .xlsx file to upload and you can create dozens or more assets just from your spreadsheet. This is a useful, useful tool. And um, you can still go in here and then you can still edit the names of any of these images you want. If you don't want this to be edited, you need to lock it <laughs> from here in the first place or make this as a template. And from here, you can publish this as a template. It's going to show up in your library over here. Like I have some, um, I have, if I go to assets, if I go to assets now, you can see new assets. Um, there are some I have already in my library that I created in the last kind of video. If you watch it, you're going to see this. So that's how you can just easily fix that. I hope this video has brought you some values. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, guys. And let me know what you think of, you know, this new setup and this new view. If you're feeling it, let me know. If you're not feeling it, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Let me know any questions you want to learn about Figma. I'm here to help you enjoy what you love doing and help you become like the best designer ever you, you know you can ever be. All right, that's it for today. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming out pretty soon. So, thank you. bye, peace. Thank you.